So today I'll be coding arrays and ripples kind of thing. So what I already have here is a background on the body and I'll be starting with a diameter for um, my thing. Um, this is going to be 80% of the minimum viewport dimension. So now I'm going to set this as um, on my blue element. So this is going to be the width and also the height. Um, and I'm going to have a background just so that I can see stuff. Um, I'm going to replace this background with a linear gradient and this is going to be something like a crimson, mm, something like this. Okay, and then I'm going to set the border radius 50%. Okay, next I'm going to start off with a percentage and this is going to be something like 5%. Next I'm going to have a radial gradient mask and this is going to be a repeating radial gradient. Um, closest side, I can't believe I don't have autocomplete for that. Uh, transparent, uh, red, uh, the color doesn't matter because um, it's an alpha mask. Uh, so one pixel and then a red again to that percentage and now I'm simply just going to uh, copy paste this um, and now I'm just going to uh, replace those reds with uh, no, this red and this red right here I'm going to replace them with transparent uh, this is going to be uh, twice that percentage and this is going to be a calc so a uh, calc and here I'm going to use that percentage um, plus one pixel. Okay, um, and now I'm going to take this and copy paste it and create a conic gradient. Uh, so this is not going to be radial, it's going to be conic. Um, just take out this uh, first part here. Okay, um, and this uh, transparent part right here, it's just going to be um, okay, like this. And this is going to be enough. And now I'm going to create a mask. And this is going to be uh, the radial gradient one, exclude, um, and the conic gradient mask. And this should do it. This should give me the effect. Um, mask. That's why it didn't work. I was wondering. Okay, so uh, yeah, this uh, does it. Now let's make this uh, full height. Um, set a margin zero so get rid of the scroll bar. Uh, put everything in the middle with display flex, align item center, justify content center. Now let's make this background nicer. 50% uh, cover. Okay, so yeah, this should do it. It only works in Firefox, but whatever. Uh, this is the effect in Firefox. So yeah, this is what I wanted to show you for today. I hope you've enjoyed this video, and if you have and want me to be able to do more stuff in the future, please consider supporting my work in one of the ways explained in the description. You can do it with a donation, or you can get me something off my Amazon wishlist, or you can support the implementation of uh, these cool fe features. Or you can at least share this to show the world what can be done with CSS these days, because I think it's pretty damn cool. In any event, thanks for watching.